on today's China Truths. Half of Yichang Mountain collapses, Three Gorges Dam opens all 11 spillway gates. The Three Gorges Dam was reported to be releasing water through all 11 spillway gates for an entire day. The force of the water was described as resembling 10,000 horses galloping and roaring, with an amount equivalent to one West Lake's volume of water being discharged every three minutes. On July 17, numerous posts on the Chinese short video platform Douyin stated that residents in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River were suffering because of this disaster. Even scarier, on July 18, several ex-users reported that a major landslide occurred in Jia Jia Dian village, Guizhou town, Zigui county, Hubei province, following the release of floodwaters from the Three Gorges Dam. Videos captured massive quantities of earth and rocks rapidly sliding down from the mountain, suggesting that half of the mountain may have collapsed. The landslides also damaged mountain roads, creating a terrifying scene. Netizens reacted with shock, exclaiming, half of a mountain in Ichang has collapsed. Meanwhile, netizens from Hubei reported the situation in other places. One stated that, Shershou County in Jingzhou is almost unable to hold on. Another noted, this morning when I left for work, the island at Bai Sha Zhou was visible, but by the time I returned, it had been submerged. Furthermore, another local described, in front of our house, there's a 50-acre fish pond about 2 meters deep. The volume of water released in this flood event exceeds 50,000 cubic meters per second, which means it could drain the fish pond in just one second. Numerous Douyin users expressed their frustrations, questioning, why do they only release water after heavy rains, and why must all spillways be fully opened? What were they doing before it started raining? What kind of regulation involves storing water during droughts and releasing it during floods? Some lamented, wasn't this dam supposed to prevent flooding for a hundred years? Moreover, they pointed out, it's only open during emergencies, was there no plan in place before the emergency? Both upstream and downstream regions suffer greatly. There should be a thorough investigation. Addressing these concerns, some netizens criticized the CCP for constructing dams mainly for profit. They highlighted that Chinese reservoirs often fail to serve their intended purposes of drought prevention and flood control, instead focusing on generating revenue. They pointed out that associated small hydroelectric stations are leased out, water is sold to farmers during droughts, and reservoirs are used for fish farming, making each ton of water financially valuable. They questioned, how can they release water to alleviate drought? They also noted that only during overwhelming torrential rains do the authorities fully open the spillways, which then results in flooding downstream areas. With the flood water release from the Three Gorges Dam, many cities downstream, from Hubei in the north to Jiangxi in southeast China, face potential disasters. The flooding in Suizhou, Hubei, has already resulted in at least four deaths. Due to the CCP's consistent practice of concealing the true scale of disasters, the reported number of casualties is widely suspected to be severely underreported. Chinese geologists have warned that the Hubei region, where the Three Gorges Dam is located, is a weak spot on the national seismic map. The region lies right on the edge of the Yangtze Plate, which is constantly affected by tectonic collision zones to the east and west of China. What's scary is that the fault system around the dam is still active, capable of accumulating seismic energy over time. An earthquake doesn't necessarily have to occur directly under the dam, but only needs to be close enough and strong enough to create a resonance effect. That is the biggest risk of a giant project located in geological layers that breathe with the pulse of the earth. What is seen above ground is just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface, Thousands of fault lines are sleeping, waiting for a strong enough shock to awaken. A few days after the Kamchatka earthquake, tremors began quietly shaking the heart of China. More than 20 minor quakes were recorded across Hebei, Sichuan, Yunnan, and most concerningly, Hubei, where the colossal Three Gorges Dam stands. Shockingly, four of these tremors sent seismic waves directly toward the reservoir. In western Hubei, a monitoring station detected ground vibrations lasting 42 seconds, with an amplitude 1.5 times above normal. These figures may look small on paper, but for a 39 million ton concrete giant, 
they could signal the start of deep internal stress. The real danger, however, hides underground. The dam is anchored to ancient rock, shaped by hundreds of millions of years, filled with microscopic cracks and fragile tectonic scars. Beneath it runs the Qianjiang Fault, a vast rupture stretching hundreds of kilometers beneath the dam's feet. It sleeps for now, but even distant aftershocks or sudden pressure changes could be enough to wake it, with consequences no one dares imagine. After the 8.7 magnitude earthquake in Kamchatka, many international researchers expressed concern that this tremor would ring the alarm bell for the entire Asian mainland. Why? Because the ancient fault system that passes through Kamchatka, North China, and then extends all the way to the center of mainland China acts as a conduit for seismic energy. The seismic shock in Russia can be compared to a pebble thrown into a lake, creating ripples that spread to unexpected places, and the Three Gorges Dam, standing tall like a fortress, is right in the middle of those ripples. It is no coincidence that just a few days later, more than 20 small aftershocks appeared scattered across China. The problem is not how small the aftershocks are, but how frighteningly fast they come, as if Chinese geology is answering to Kamchatka. Many Chinese engineers once proudly claimed that the Three Gorges Dam could withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake. But the truth is, this structure has never been tested by a truly high-intensity local quake. The question remains, if a magnitude 7 or stronger earthquake were to strike the Hubei region, could the dam hold? With a total weight of nearly 40 million tons and enormous water pressure behind it, even a slight misalignment or erosion of the foundation could trigger a disaster. In particular, the Qianjiang Fault, running directly beneath the dam, resembles a ticking time bomb buried deep underground. If a tremor hits its resonant frequency, the entire dam structure could be seriously affected. This is no longer a hypothesis. It's a scenario that has been simulated by several independent research groups. Moreover, cracks that had previously been documented on the dam's surface have now become more visible, further fueling public concern. As tremors continue to ripple across the region, more and more observers are questioning whether the structural integrity of the dam is being quietly compromised. What once seemed like distant warnings are now resurfacing with urgent relevance. A leaked report from the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences revealed that the reservoir area of the Three Gorges Dam is experiencing microstratigraphic shifts at an accelerating pace. These movements are extremely small, only a few millimeters per year, but for a massive structure like the Three Gorges, even a tiny displacement can lead to structural deformation. Notably, such movements were never recorded in this area before 2008, the year of the Sichuan earthquake that killed more than 80,000 people. After that catastrophe, scientists began paying attention to a new phenomenon, chain reactions within interconnected fault systems. This means that any major collision in one location could cause faults hundreds of kilometers away to begin stirring. The Three Gorges Dam is now sitting in a geological network no one can fully control. Beyond the seismic threat, the water pressure in the Three Gorges Reservoir is also a hidden danger. During the rainy season, water levels can exceed 175 meters, the maximum height allowed by the original design. Excessive pressure on the foundation not only increases the risk of erosion, but may also widen hidden cracks over time. Recent studies have found signs of micro-leakage occurring at several contact points between the dam's concrete and the bedrock. Under normal conditions, these are just minor technical flaws. But when combined with seismic aftershocks and rising water pressure, those invisible cracks could be the starting point of a catastrophe. No one can say for sure what will happen if all risk factors converge at once. If the Three Gorges Dam were to fail, the consequences would not just be an engineering disaster, it would be a nightmare of epic proportions. More than 600 million people living downstream along the Yangtze River, from Yichang to Shanghai, would be in danger. A simulation by a Japanese research group showed that if the dam collapses, floodwaters could submerge the entire city of Wuhan in less than six hours. 
What's troubling is that the Chinese government has never released a realistic evacuation plan for a dam failure scenario. Instead, they keep emphasizing that the Three Gorges is absolutely safe. But in the natural world, nothing is absolute. And when blind faith meets geological reality, the cost could be the lives of millions. State-backed influencers, often called Little Pinks, have long hailed the Three Gorges Dam as one of humanity's greatest engineering feats. At 2.3 kilometers long, 185 meters high, and able to regulate 45 billion cubic meters of water, it stands as a symbol of China's dominance over nature. But behind the pride lies a fragile truth. This giant stands on unstable ground. Built in a seismically active zone, the dam now faces rising risks, especially after the recent 8.7 magnitude quake in Kamchatka. Some may wonder how a quake 4,600 kilometers away could pose a threat, but geology doesn't respect distance. Kamchatka lies on the Pacific Plate, which is subducting under the Okhotsk Plate, part of the massive Eurasian Plate that underpins the Three Gorges. The shock sent seismic energy rippling through ancient fault lines from Kamchatka to the Amur Plate, the Yangtze Plate, and deep into central China. During the rainy season, typically from June to September, the Three Gorges Reservoir is filled close to its maximum level of 175 meters. At this point, more than 45 billion cubic meters of water exert immense pressure on the reservoir floor. If a remote earthquake, even just magnitude 5 or 6, occurs during this time, it can trigger a resonance effect, increasing the risk of structural cracking. A study by the Chinese Institute of Geophysics warned that seismic waves with an amplitude of just 0.2 g, when combined with weak rock and high water levels, could triple the normal stress on the dam's foundation joints. A historical warning exists. In 1963, a landslide near Italy's Vajant Dam triggered a 200-meter-high wave that overtopped the dam and killed over 2,000 people, even though the dam itself remained intact. A similar disaster could occur at Three Gorges if heavy rains or quakes trigger an upstream landslide while the reservoir is full. A deeper concern lies in China's interconnected fault system. Major faults like Lanzhou, Shangxi, Wenchuan and Sichuan have all produced devastating earthquakes. Now, as seismic energy is released from the Kamchatka subduction zone, the land mass compressed between the Pacific and Indian plates may begin to shift. The Yangtze Plate, home to the Three Gorges Dam, sits at the center of this double compression. Ironically, Chinese geologists raised these concerns decades ago, even before construction began. But political and energy goals took priority, and now the risks are far harder to undo. If a worst-case scenario unfolds, such as heavy rain triggering upstream landslides combined with a magnitude 6 or greater aftershock in Sichuan or Hubei, the Qianjiang Fault could awaken. This might crack the bedrock, allowing water infiltration, erosion, and eventual weakening of the dam's foundation. In an extreme case, emergency discharges could be necessary to save the dam, unleashing a catastrophic flood downstream. Cities like Wuhan, Nanjing, and Shanghai would lie directly in the flood's path. Experts at Peking University estimate that if the dam were to fail, the damage could exceed $1.2 trillion and impact over 400 million people. Worryingly, current sensors in the Three Gorges area are not sensitive enough for early detection. Some independent geologists have called for advanced radar and accelerometer systems, but nationwide deployment remains incomplete. Moreover, key data on reservoir bed movement and structural stress is still controlled by a handful of research institutions with little public transparency. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We will keep reporting on the COVID surge in China, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos. And thank you for tuning in.